What's up, guys? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer from Avery Brewing Company in Boulder, Colorado. This is Chai High, ale with spiced chai tea added. So I jumped on the Avery website to do some research about this beer and could not find it at all. Um, to the point that I had to basically, basically use a search engine and search specifically for the beer. And basically I did find that page. There's no link to it on the Avery website apparently, but that page doesn't say much more than the fact that the beer exists. Uh, so can't really tell you much about it, uh, about the beer other than, other than to say it checks in at 5.2% ABV. But on the, uh, on, chance that, on the chance that some of you may not be familiar with what chai is, um, I did uh, do just a, yeah, a little bit of research on that. So chai from India is a spiced milk tea that's become increasingly popular throughout the world. It's generally made up of rich black tea, heavy milk, a combination of various spices, and a sweetener. The spices used vary from region to region and among households in India. The most common are cardamom, cinnamon, ginger, cloves, and pepper. <clears throat> Indian chai produces a warming, soothing effect, acts as a natural digestive aid, and gives one a wonderful sense of well-being. Uh, maybe a little bit, uh, gets a little bit esoteric there at the end, but um, certainly that's the beliefs of the Indian people, and so on. Uh, so that's that. Um, I have had chai before on a handful of occasions. Um, not necessarily my most favorite drink in the world. I, I can uh, I can tolerate it. And if you, uh, during the description, you may have uh, noticed that chai has uh, spices like cinnamon and cloves and so forth, and... Uh, from the recent Oktoberfest series, you may recall some some of that stuff. Uh, it's not necessarily my favorite thing in massive quantities, but many of the beers I had during that time did have uh, did have some of those spices as well as others, and um, I enjoyed them uh, just fine. Um, some of them I thought were really really good, in fact. So uh, depending on how um, how heavily spiced this could be, we'll see. What we'll probably affect my enjoyment, but I could also see a spice level where um, it really blends well with, it, with everything else that's going on in this ale. Um, enough talking. Let's get to pouring and to drinking. Okay. A uh, couple fingers worth of head. On that beer right there, it's a deep brown color, kind of get copperish headlight uh, highlights, headlights, copperish highlights as I hold it up to the light. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, just having poured it, and I can tell you it's got a good amount of spice on it. Um, just coming out of the aroma alone, so that doesn't necessarily mean the uh, the taste is. Uh, a spice bomb, so um, let's check it out. So it is it is pretty spice heavy. Um, the sweetness level is not bad. I will tell you that, uh, as, as it said, the chai naturally does have a sweetener. It is It can be on the sweet side a little bit. Um, this And this certainly does have that. Uh, but it's not too overpowering, at least not yet. But definitely a, a, a pumpkin pie spice kind of thing going on. Um, I, again, I didn't have any research on this beer, or I couldn't find any research on this beer, so I can't speak to exactly what spices they used. I just went off a little bit of research, so obviously um, cinnamon and cloves are pretty pretty uh pretty far forward um, nice little bit of maltiness though cutting through the cut through the spices just a little bit and it's pretty smooth overall as well uh, unique beer Really unique beer, really, really, uh, really, really neat flavor profile. My own personal opinion is I probably it's, it's a sipper for me, sipper for me, 
probably wouldn't want to have more than one or two of them. I think I'd be over the over the sweetness and uh, over the spices by that point. But yeah, mild sweetness, moderate to starting to push into a little bit of the heavy side on the on the spices. Um, I'm getting a little bit of ginger. That's also helping cut through the cut through the sweetness and the pumpkin pumpkin pie spice. Uh, it doesn't really have a bite to it, a ginger bite, but it's kind of just enough to temper uh, the sweetness. Surprisingly clean finish as well. I thought with it being uh, fairly sweet and all and so forth, I thought it would uh, linger in the aftertaste more than it does. So um, I get a little bit of it in the, the very, very back of my throat, but um, not as not as strong in the aftertaste as I expected. Um, not, again, not cloyingly sweet, just a uh, pretty, pretty nice balance, if I'm being honest. So, yeah. Uh, that is the Avery Chai High. Uh, you pretty unique play, flavor profile. Like a fall beer, it is an, an autumn. They call they say autumn seasonal, but it it is a fall seasonal. But it's just different enough uh, that uh, it makes for makes for something a little bit of a deviation from everything else that uh, that comes through comes through beer, the beer world in uh, this time of year. All right, so that is the Avery Chai High, and that's it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. Next time, we'll be checking out a beer that is brewed with basil. We'll see how that turns out. Another uh, interesting aromatic note to go after this uh, Chai High. Um, that will probably be tomorrow, actually. With uh, If you live in America, you know that today is uh, Sunday, the 6th of November, and Tuesday's Election Day. I will be glued to my television to my television watching election returns all night so uh i might go ahead and get that uh vi that video video review knocked out tomorrow to uh keep a, a semblance of my schedule because i don't want to be running late on that promise the video by uh tuesday thursday and on the weekend and i want to stay that state stick to that or at least be early um so next time that'll be a a basil beer that'll be coming tomorrow Find all of our reviews, both video and written, at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also check out PRB on Twitter and Facebook. Those links will be in the description below. And if you're so inclined, like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.